So the NRA has decided they're going to fight back against President Obama's uh, proposals, the 23 executive orders he signed and the legislation that he's putting forward. So how are they going to do it? Uh, they're going to attack his kids. Stay classy, San Diego. So here's our first 30-second short ad that they're running. Are the president's kids more important than yours? Then why is he skeptical about putting armed security in our schools when his kids are protected by armed guards at their school? Mr. Obama demands the wealthy pay their fair share of taxes, but he's just another elitist hypocrite when it comes to a fair share of security, protection for their kids, and gun-free zones for ours. All right, where do I begin the criticism of this ad? So, of course, everybody's outraged that he's involved the president's kids, uh, the president's kids on any issue, let alone one where you've got a video full of guns, should not be uh, part of the equation. They weren't under Bush, they aren't under Republicans or Democrats, but the NRA, of course, doesn't mind breaking any rule. Uh, Jay Carney, the White House press secretary, is, of course, enraged about that part. He says, most Americans agree that a president's children should not be used as pawns in a political fight. Uh, he also says, but to go as far as to make the safety of the president's children the subject of an attack ad is repugnant and cowardly. Uh, the NRA, of course, does not agree. Their spokesperson answers, this ad is about keeping our children safe. And the president said he was skeptical about the NRA proposal to put policemen in all schools in this country. So apparently it's fair game. He was skeptical about one of our proposals, so we had to go after his kids. Yet he and his family are beneficiaries of multiple law enforcement officers surrounding them 24 hours a day. That's the real issue. Anything else is an attempted calculated distraction. Oh, think about how stupid that is. That's point number two. Like, oh, the president gets armed protection. He's the president. <laughs> okay. He's kind of famous. He's kind of important. And there's some chance that foreign governments, terrorists, crazy people, etc., might want to target the president. You see, that's kind of a unique situation. And the, the amazing thing is the NRA thinks, got him. <laughs> the president needs secret service. They got guns. So that must mean we should put a gun right next to your kid. No, it doesn't mean that at all. And then there's this elitist argument. Well, you know, those elitists and Sidwell friends where the president's kids go, <laughs> yeah. And it turns out they do have armed guards. They have a rotation. They have 11 armed guards overall. Uh, you know what? Turns out, so do 28% of public schools. I didn't know that. We did the research. Turns out over 23,000 public schools also have armed security. So it's not like, and it's a matter of the decisions that those local schools make. So for example, in LA, the schools that have armed security, believe me, are not the elitist schools. Okay, they're the schools for unfortunately, the poorest kids in LA. Okay, so this is not a matter of being elitist, but what do they do? They always go to their bag of tricks. Oh, the liberals are elite. Ha <laughs> ha we got you limousine liberal. No, you didn't. Some of the dumbest arguments I've ever seen. Speaking of which, in the longer version of that ad, they have a guy you might recognize. Let's show you that. The National Rifle Association has been getting a lot of flack lately for advocating more armed guards in schools. The brilliant idea these lunatics had is, let's put more guns in schools. Wow, you got me on that one. America agrees with Wayne and the NRA. The only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. All right, now, does America actually agree uh, with uh, Wayne LaPierre and the NRA? on the specific issues that the president is proposing, the answer is absolutely not. So let me give you just one of the examples. The NRA is opposed to background checks and closing the gun show loophole. Well, Republicans uh, are only in favor of that. Republicans, 85%. Independents are also 85%. Democrats are at 87%. So I think we've all come to the same conclusion. Close the gun show loophole. Why does the NRA not want to close the gun show loophole? Because they make a lot of money selling guns to people like drug cartels. They get buy mass guns at gun, show, uh, at gun shows without doing background checks. It, they, oh, you know how they always say, oh, as you saw there, oh, good guy with a gun. No, 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 they don't mind if the bad guys have guns. That forces the good guys to have more guns. Everybody's gotta have guns. They love selling to the bad guys. That's why they love the gun show loophole. The American people are not with them. And by the way, you wanna talk about absurd? <laughs> they, uh, there's a new argument that some of the janitors at the school should be armed. The only thing that stops a bad janitor with a gun is a good janitor with a gun. Insanity. The only thing more absurd in that whole set of commercials 
was the idea that I might be representing the elites. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and ask them that. See if they think that. <laughs> I don't think so, big guy. So uh, NRA making clowns of themselves as usual.